Hello. Now we shall discuss tunneling of electrons. As we have discussed in the context of covalent bonds and in the context of linear chain of hydrogen atoms, that electrons interact that is hop from one atom to another and that hopping is a tunneling method. It cannot, it does not really have enough energy to overcome that potential barrier. Nevertheless, in quantum mechanics, it can tunnel from one atom to another and that kind of tunneling happens in almost every solid. This is not transport, this is just hopping. That electron may come back, but this process is not very fast and not many electrons tunnel at the same time. It's very few that does it. So it's not transport, it's something else. So transmission and reflection of electron has to be considered that too through an arbitrary potential barrier. And in this context, we will use the transfer matrix method. to understand exactly what goes on in the tunneling process. So here we consider the propagation of electron in one dimensional crystal from one point to another. So we can uh, find out, we can determine the reflected and transmitted components of a wave that is electronic wave that uh, hits a given potential. Let us consider an arbitrary profile of a potential barrier. Let us consider that we have potential axis here Vx and this is the x axis in one dimension. And let us say this is the potential profile. On the left side it is XL, on the right side it is XR. This is an arbitrary potential profile. And we consider that there is an amplitude AL of the wave approaching the uh, barrier from the left. So this is, uh, this electron is moving right. AR, that is also moving right, but this is on the right side of the potential. And BL, wave moving towards the left, at the left side of the barrier. And BR, wave moving towards the left at the right side of the barrier. Let us say we have this kind of an arrangement. And outside this region XL to XR that is this part and so right part and left part for the simplicity we consider that the potential is 0 in these regions. If we consider this then the general solution to the Schrodinger equation for a positive energy E, let us say the energy E is somewhere here, anywhere, but that is less than the barrier. If we have that kind of a situation, then we can write the left side, left hand side part of the wave function psi L, a function of x as a l e power i q x moving along the positive x direction plus b l e power minus i q x 
moving along the negative x direction that is left towards the left. This is for x less than equals x l and for the right hand side psi r a function of x can be given as a r e power i q x that is moving towards the right plus b r e power minus i q x that is moving towards the left and this is for the region x greater than equals x r. Now, we have this q here in the exponential part. The q as we have learned from the potential barriers, the understanding of potential barriers, this is a function of the energy of the electrons and this is given as twice m e over h cross squared. This is in the left and in the right side of the barrier. Now, let us consider the Schrodinger equation. Since the Schrodinger equation is a linear second order differential equation, the amplitudes A r and B r on the right hand side of the uh, the, the right hand lead if we consider this part to be a lead depends linearly from the amplitudes a l and b l that is of the left hand side. So, we can represent the case of the barrier using a transfer matrix like a r b r this is given as a transfer matrix S e times the column vector A l B l. So, the transfer matrix will be a 2 by 2 matrix which can be written as S 1 1 which is a function of E, S 1 2 again a function of E, S 2 1 function of energy and S 2 2 again a function of energy. This matrix times A L B L. So, this is our transfer matrix. and this is the same as S here. So, if we now perform this matrix multiplication, we can write in terms of these matrix elements, the linear equations A r equals S 1 1 A l plus S 1 2 B l. Similarly, B r equals S 2 1 A l plus S 2 2 B l. Just the matrix multiplication gives us this linear set of linear equations and the transfer matrix S corresponds to a given potential V x that we have drawn here and of an arbitrary shape and the chosen energy E of the electron. So, this can be obtained by integrating the Schrodinger equation. Notice that the complex conjugate of any solution of Schrodinger equation is on its own right a solution for the same energy. Therefore, we can write S 1 1 equals S 2 2 complex conjugate that has to be true and 
S12 equals the complex conjugate of S21 that has to be correct in order to be a, uh, in order to have a solution to the Schrodinger equation. Now, we can also show that the mat uh, determinant of this matrix transfer matrix is 1. which means the matrix is unimodular. So, if we consider the physical meaning of the amplitudes of the uh, left hand side and the right hand side waves and if we consider the electronic current density, then we can write considering the electronic current density and the and its correspondence with the amplitudes we can write a l squared minus b l mod squared equals a r mod squared minus b r mod squared so now, by considering this form of the transfer matrix and these constraints on the transfer matrix elements, we can write AL mod square minus BL mod square equals S11 a L plus S 1 2 B L mod square minus S 2 1 A L plus S 2 2 B L mod square which is equal to S11 mod square minus S21 mod square times AL mod square minus BL mod square. So, now we can write from this that S11 mod square minus S21 mod square which if we look at the form of this transfer matrix we can find that this is nothing but the determinant of the transfer matrix subject to these constraints and this must be equals to 1. So, we have found that the transfer matrix between two leads that is the left hand side lead and the right hand side lead uh, connecting the barrier is unimodular because this quantity according to this calculation here S11 square, S11 mod square plus S21 mod square must be equal to 1, which is same as the determinant of this transfer matrix. We have proved S to be unimodular.